Hello everyone. Welcome to Paper Pumpkin Escape. I'm Anna Marie with Just Stamp with Anna Marie. It is the first of the month. We are unpacking the current month's Paper Pumpkin Kit and I'm pretty happy because mine just arrived yesterday. Um, I know with the shipping issues, the kits are running a little bit late this month, but no worries. I feel like I got mine in time to create my projects and still get them in the mail or have them ready to hand out for Valentine's Day. I think it's a pretty cute kit and I've got some alternative projects to share with you using the great stamp set that we get with it. So I hope you have a few minutes to join me, unpack with me, stamp along with me if you're a subscriber, and I'm gonna inspire you with some alternative projects that you can keep on creating long after your supplies from your box are depleted. All right, so here's my box. This is the Kisses and Hugs January 2022 kit. Um, when you open it up, I'm going to share with you some of the announcements that are in the box and actually give you a new announcement. Um, so here is the first insert that we were offered. There is a mini treat box available. And you know, I didn't check just before I logged on to see if they are still available. They are super cute little boxes with heart tags in the same color scheme and same style as the kit. Um, if you are a pumpkin subscriber, you have the option of adding on. You also have the option of getting additional kits or add-on kits when you're a paper pumpkin subscriber. When I flip it over, I see the sneak peek for the upcoming kit. It is going to be something coming on the horizon. So it looks like a really fun kit, um, that, and you'll need to subscribe by February 10 to get this kit. I will be posting some sneak peeks of some of the products and some of the teasers that were offered. I can't show you the actual projects because, of course, those are a surprise that you get mailed every month. It, this is like my favorite surprise every month, and luckily it arrives in the mail, and I usually get pretty excited. I open up my package right away to check what all I've gotten. Good morning, Marcia. <laughs> so good to, to hear from you. I hope everything's going good in Texas. It's a little chilly in California, chilly for California anyway. All right, so there's our notice. This is the Hugs and Kiss, Hugs and Kisses uh, Valentines for this month. You can see the pretty colors and the gold uh, embellishment. And uh, let's see, I'm sharing with you the notice that we got last month because it's very pertinent as of today, especially. So, if you are a month-to-month -month subscriber, that's a perfect way to go. You can subscribe as you go. Oh, and for an ice storm, Marsha, uh, good thoughts are with you. I hope uh, everything goes okay. Icy uh, storm, that sounds a little hazardous, very hazardous. I will keep you in my thoughts, or in all of Texas in my thoughts. There has been some severe weather going on in the States. Luckily, California has mildly severe weather. All right, so the reason I'm showing you this little graphic for purchase a paper pumpkin subscription. So as I was saying, month to month is the way to go if you um, want to be able to pick up a kit occasionally. Right now it's at $22, but we were just notified that there will be a price increase. You know, everything's going up as is postage and everything. So currently, the pumpkin kits on the month to month, I believe, and I'm gonna to refer to my mini catalog. On page seven, there is the current chart. It's $22 to pay as you go. So when you, when you um, continue your subscription, it is going to be going up. I believe it's $23.50 per month. Um, Right now, the three-month subscriptions currently are $63. They will be going up effective uh, February 11th, but you can still get in on the prepaid subscription for only $63. It will go up to $67.50. And the reason I mentioned the prepaids for you is because during celebration, 
which we are experiencing right now, you can actually get some of the freebies out of the celebration catalog with a prepaid subscription. So if you buy a six month, or sorry, a three month subscription that qualifies you for one celebration item, if you bump up to a six month subscription, you're gonna enjoy either two $50 celebration gifts or one $100 celebration gift. If you go up to the 12 month, which currently is at 220, you get four of these celebration gifts or two $100 gifts. But you can see my notes on here what the price increases are going to be. 63 currently, 114 currently, and 220 currently. And here are the amounts that they are going to go up to um, beginning February 11th, 67.50, 122.50, and 235. So it's not a huge increase. Um, where you see the biggest bump, obviously, is when you look at the one-year prepaid subscription. There's a bigger jump in there, but you still pay for only 11 kits. You're going to get 12 kits, and in addition to the four celebration items, you also receive the host rewards or the stampin rewards and so on the back of the mini catalog you can see what your rewards are when you're at 150 which is where you would reach after a one-year subscription you actually get 10 percent in stampin rewards so you're getting the best value you're getting your celebration items, you're getting host rewards, and there's other perks that you can get as well. So what I'm gonna to suggest to you, if you're even thinking about um, continuing on with the paper pump, can reach out to me so I can make sure that you are getting the best value, that you're getting every gift and reward that's due to you. I want, I want to make sure you're maximizing your crafty dollars. So reach out to me if you're interested in that and just know the subscription is going to be increasing effective February 11th. All right, so I shared that news with you. Let me now continue on sharing with you the kit. So I know, Marsha, um, the same happens here when we have weather in California. People don't know how to drive and they do crazy things. So it's kind of best to stay close to home if you can. Um, just avoid going out on the roads. All right, my friends, here's the kit. I'm going to open up. And I have opened my kit because I wanted to have my bonus projects ready to share with you. And what I'm loving about this month's kit, of course, um, the stamp and spot, you get that every month. This month, it is gray granite, which is a beautiful gray, a little bit of a hint of brown to it. It's a, an overlooked neutral color, I think. It's really, really nice. Um, then we got our stamp set. Uh, super fun. It is Valentine's Day theme-ish. We've got a couple different hearts. We have an outline heart and a solid heart. The little heart with the arrow bursting through. A, a larger heart, and we have our X's and O's and some little spotty dots. As far as the greetings are concerned, we've got love you, for you, friend, more, and sending you love. And we are going to be working with most of the stamps either today or on the bonus kits as we move along. As always, we have our die cuts. And this uh, month we got five vellum hearts. This kit is going to make five of two different designs. So we're going to get 10 cards out of the kit, plus it keeps on giving because of that stamp set. So some vellum die cuts, some flirty flamingo and blushing bride hearts, and a pretty gray granite heart. And we are going to be making five cards with these die cuts. We have some smaller heart, and it's kind of like a posted stamp image with the little gold embossing floating through the hearts, and we have five of those. We're making five cards using those. We have some bigger outline hearts, a really pretty gold touch to them, and we're making five cards with two of them and five cards with one. We're going to have leftovers, and I love leftovers. And then here are the card bases. Really cute. They are shaped cards. And when you receive them, they have been folded over. It's a tri, it's a triptych. So we have three and they are accordion folded. So I'll share with you how I'm folding them. There's one. 
which is the very vanilla color. And then the second one is in Blushing Bride. Same with the little gold tone accent. So we've got five of each. We're gonna be making 10 cards. And we have these just beautiful flirty flamingo envelopes. Super pretty color with the X and O gold lining on them. So really nice envelopes as well. That's one of the nice things about Paper Pumpkin. They always think about the envelope as well. All right, so let's get started making the cards as is. Hopefully everyone received their instruction pamphlet this month, and we have our overall peek at our project so we can see what it's supposed to look like. When you open it up, we have our visual instructions, and we are gonna be make, making these cards as instructed. They're super cute, and I love the shape, right? And then on the last page, there is also a little section with some alternative projects that you can do with the kit. And some of them include the box background. So it looks like they've un, un or deconstructed a box to create the background on a, on a card. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, so these are the suggestions from Paper Pumpkin. I have three suggestions for you as well. So let's get started on our cards. I'm gonna put my envelopes aside. As you know, the first paper pumpkin kit that you receive, you do get your acrylic block. I like to use my blocks that I have from my crafty stash. They're the Stampin' Up! blocks, but I like the way they, they feel in my hands a little bit better. I also like to use the full-size pad for my ink. And I love that we get the ink spots. That's really helpful for smaller spots or inking spots, but I do use my full size pad. Now, along with the kit, we got our embellishments. So really pretty sequins. We did get our mini glue dots and we got our mini stamp and dimensional. So we're all set for adhesive as well. The only extra things you might need to construct are some paper snips. You know, I love to use my bone folder and my other essential tool is the take your pick tool. So that and <laughs> my essential list is growing longer. I like to use the, the piercing mat to stamp on because our stamps are photopolymer. And because I now have a new friend, Stamp and Seal, I am using my silicone mat to apply my adhesive. So um, extra things that you can have to make your stamping experience a little bit more pleasant a little bit more successful, but you don't need them. These definitely you would need. All right, so for card number one, let's see. According to the instructions, look, I'm gonna refer back, and I refer back to the instructions because someone has actually taken the time to count how many dimensionals we need, how many mini glue dots, and they've given us the steps so sometimes we jump ahead we think oh we don't need to read the directions only to discover that there was maybe a step we omitted ever happened to you go ahead um i make that mistake all the time i don't know if you're like me sometimes you think you can jump ahead without the directions and we can it's gonna be a little bit different though if we do. So let's get started for the card number one. We are making the Blushing Bride with the X's and O and the gold uh, embellishments. We will need, let's see, two of the outline hearts. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those. And I know for my next card, I'm going to need one. So let's get set up for that as well. So let's see, here is our Blushing Bride card and hopefully you can see all of it. And our very vanilla card. And we will need one here. Okay, so we're all set for our outline hearts. For our Blushing Bride, we also need one of the poached stamp. I know, I'm more visual. Yes, Marsha, I agree. And that's quite, kind of why I like the instructions on the paper pumpkin. I like the pictures that they give you. Um, no words, but you, you have the picture to go along with it. So we need one of these. We do need one gray granite arrow. And so I'm gonna pop that out. 
And from the same die cut, I'm gonna need the Flirty Flamingo, the larger heart for the Very Vanilla card, and I'm gonna need the Blushing Bride. Now, as a suggestion, you might wanna hold on to this because you could actually use that as a, um, as a sponging tool or just to create a background. So I would hold on to at least one. I think we could be really resourceful with that. All right, so we've got our two hearts, we've got our potion stamp, we've got our arrow. And on the very vanilla, we need our two colored hearts, we need our outline stamp, we need, uh, let's see what else. I think that that is it. Oh, we're gonna need our vellum heart on that. So I'm gonna take away the extras and let's get started with card number one. So let me push this aside. And so these cards, <laughs> hello, Susan. All right, so for these cards, they are accordion folded. So I'm just gonna lift that and put it into position. This is how we're gonna be working. We are going to need to stamp. We need the stamp that says friend. And let's see. There is, and I did pre-mount these on my blocks. So I need friend and for you. And so that's one that I didn't pre-mount, I believe. We're gonna be using that stamp as well. And I'll just put that on the flip side there. All right. And let's see, let's get our stamping done on our heart. Sorry, I should say on one of the hearts. Let's see if I can move this up into view. We are going to stamp the word friend right in the middle. That's the gray granite. And again, it's right in the middle. I always wanna make sure that my stamp is nice and inked, pressing firmly down. And I'm gonna take my postage stamp die cut and I'm going to stamp for you. Same color, this is gray granite. It's what's included in your kit. And it just goes down at the bottom of the square. All right, so we are done with our stamping. And let's do our some assembly on the die. And the kit instructions suggest four. So this is a big die cut. It's nice and supported with the four dimensionals. This is going to go right on the front of the card. And it just kind of gets centered right on this blushing bride heart. And then we're gonna turn to panel two and we are going to add our arrow. And on the arrow, it looks like we need some dimensionals. And we're gonna need two. So this kit came with minis. I'm using my sheet with the larger size. And then also on the postage stamp, we are going to put a mini glue dot. Let's see if I've got that handy comes in your kits. My favorite tool to take your pick helps to lift that glue dot and uncover it. And we're also going to put dimensionals on the top and bottom of the die cut. So fairly simple. And this will go right into position on panel two and it's going to point left and it's pretty much horizontal, horizontally and vertically centered. There you go. And then put the postage stamp heart on that. Oh, yikes. I'm gonna have some embellishments to put on because I got a little smudge on that. And then finally, on our final heart, which is still the outline heart, 
we are going to add some dimensionals as well for And this goes in the center of the final heart. So Blush Blossom is actually one of my favorite pinks. It's a nice subtle color. It goes really pretty with the gold. Okay, so we've got our card here. And it just gets folded, so we have plenty of space to write our greeting there. And, oh, let's add our... Add our embellishments and they recommend we put let's see three on the middle i love they even show you where to put the embellishments because i know a lot of us struggle but you know what i'm going to put one right there because i have a smudge on there and then i'll put one down a little bit lower and we are putting three right on the front panel And this take your pick is so easy, or helps make the lifting the embellishments so easy. There we go. So we've got our embellishments, we've got all our die cuts on. That's card number one. Really pretty, really easy. I'm gonna set that one aside, what do you think? So simple. I like, they have a nice little heart here for us to write our greeting. Really easy. All right, so let's go on. We'll have a look at card number two, which is the very vanilla. There, let's see if I can move that out of the way a little. And let's see, for card number two, Right, so I want to make sure I'm doing this right. We have two different colors of hearts. So simple and so fast and so cute. Totally agree, Marcia. All right, so for this one, we are going to need our vellum heart on the panel one. We are going to need our, hmm, looks like the Blushing Bride. The Flirty Flamingo goes on panel three, as does an outline heart. There you go. And on this one, we are going to be stamping the For You on the Blushing Bride. So I'm gonna bring back in my piercing mat, get my For You stamp. And let's see, and this is stamped in gray granite. It's right in the center. I always want to have, make sure I have ink on here. There you go. Very light. It's a really subtle gray. And this one is going to have dimensionals on the back. I'm going to go ahead and add them now. And let's see. I am... Got my mini dimensionals that came in the kit now, so I need four. And on the vellum heart, we are going to put mini glue dots. So this one goes in essence flat adhered. And again, take your pick tool, and they are recommending four and we don't want it too far along the edge because these are going to be hiding behind the solid heart so you don't want to be able to see those mini glue dots so these just get uncovered so we can apply the adhesive and i use the other side to get rid of that all right so let's bring this in and I'm going to, before I lose them, <laughs> I'm going to attach it to the heart because uh, things get lost on my tabletop. I'm not sure how they get lost so easily or misplaced. They're not really lost. Okay, that goes right in the middle. The stamped heart is elevated with the dimensionals. Just like so. 
All right, our middle panels has the X's and O's, and our final panel is going to have the flirty flamingo and the stamped outline heart. So on this one, we are stamping with love you. So let's see, here we go. And it's a little bit high because we're gonna have more to stamp here, like so. Okay, well, I have a feeling that's a little bit askew. And we want the heart, or sorry, the arrow. And let's see, using my block. This two is in gray granite and it goes right in the center. And then finally, love you more. And we're just gonna stamp it right in the center there. All right, so this one goes with dimensionals and the pink or the flirty flamingo is with mini glue dots. So repeat of the first card. Just need to find my need to find my mini like mini glue dots here we go <laughs> i bet you saw them okay so here we go we're doing four and these are not as big of a worry as the vellum because this is solid cardstock we're not going to be able to see our glue dots and we also want to add dimensionals to the top layer and we're adding four so you get a generous supply of the mini dimensionals you're not going to come up short and let's get that first layer on there. And I'll bring in my very vanilla heart. This goes right atop. And our dimensionals need to be uncovered. This goes right a top and we're not done till we have our embellishments on here so let's add our nice sequins and we're adding three on the for you so one two and three and I'm really glad my kit came in because I have a lot of work to do on my Valentine's. I know we still have a few days if we want to get them in the mail. It's only the, what what is today? The first, right? I would say as long as I have them in the mail by the 7th, I should be safe. Even the 10th, right? It's not till the 14th. Unless I want to send them for Valentine's Day, then I have till the 13th. So there's my card number two, and of course this is accordion folded. So for you, X's and O's, love you more. So super cute card, really simple. And I think both colors are pretty. This one looks more elegant. I don't know, they both look elegant on account of the gold. What do you think? Really easy to make. Our, our X's and O's go on our envelopes. And because it's gray granite, I think it's gonna be fairly light. Let me bring back my X's and O's. So let's see, I'm going to align that the way I want to. And these go on. On the kit, they show them at the lower right they are going to be pretty faint and i worry that when they they get canceled by the machine they get a little bit eaten up i know another super cute fast card that's what i want when i have multiples to produce there we go that's what our envelopes are going to look like and our little cards that coordinate really fun cards i love the shape cards now 
once you're finished with your 10 cards, of course, you have that great stamp set. And we even had a couple of the die cuts, extra die cuts. So I created some alternative cards. Let me show, share with you what I created. I've got different looks going on. Today was a subtle kind of day. So here is my card that I created with my, with my stamp set. And I'll share with you how I created it. It's fairly simple again, um, not too complicated, very, very light. I'm using the Flirty Flamingo, the Blushing Bride, and the Gray Granite. I have a little die cut here, and I'm using that little spotty dotty background. And I'll share with you where I got these little hearts. I did use three punches on this, so I'll share with you how I constructed that. I started with a card base. My card base is basic white, nice and clean, crisp, basic white. Thank you, Marcia. I hope you like all of my alternative projects. Okay, so I'm just burnishing that. It's uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored right down the middle. I'm using strips. So this is a great little project when you have a stash of scraps, as I do. And these are gonna be flat adhered to the card base. And I started with the darker. These are four and a quarter by one inch. And they're just gonna be uh, flat adhered to the card base. I have a stitched rectangle die cut. This measures three inches by just over four and a quarter. So four, four and three eighths. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Susan. So there we go. And I know we have the, the weekend still to do this. And then I've used my punches for some circles. I have my, uh, let's see, let me remember my dimensions. I've got a one and three quarters inch circle in basic white. Love the punches and I have held on to them. And hello, Simone. Oh, from Orlando, Florida. So we have Florida and Texas and California. We are just going straight across the Southern states here. Um, and Texas right in the middle looks like it's the chilliest weather. Don't know what's going on with you in Florida right now. I've got a two inch flirty flamingo circle that I punched with my two inch circle punch. And I have some cute little hearts in flirty flamingo. And y'all know I love my punches and I hold on to my favorites. And if you know anything about me, I am a dog person. So I have the little dog punch and in that dog punch there is the sweetest heart that's a great shape it it follows the lines of the heart in this kit so i've punched about eight of them we'll see how many i'm actually going to use so that's my card there i am stamping as well and i'm using the stamps and i've brought in my let's see i'm going to be using my memento black and my blushing bride and my Flirty Flamingo ink pads. So lots of color going on on the alternative. And so let's start by adhering these scraps. We're gonna use my stamp and seal. You could use mini glue dots. You could use the Tombow. I am just thrilled these days to be getting along with my stamping seal. So I'm making the most of it. Really easy when you use the silicone mat. And then the Blushing Bride kind of goes right in the middle of the card. And it's I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to do a, an eyeball. And right in the middle, end to end. And if it's not quite right, I have I can snip. It does look. Now, <laughs> thank you, Pam. I'm glad you made it. Nine degrees in Wyoming. Oh, my goodness. And I was whining because it was about... I don't know, 58, maybe 60. Daytime, overnight it's gonna get cooler. Okay, so my next one I'm going to do is my Flirty Flamingo. Yikes. That is, nine degrees is pretty cold. I hope you have your, your hoodies and your little socks and all bundled up. Okay, so this one goes just about a, an eighth of an inch below 
just like so. And then the gray granite is gonna go at the top. And I'm using still my seal. I don't even need that seal plus as much anymore. Now that I'm friends with seal, and again, about an eighth of an inch apart. And I can see I have a little bit of snipping to do. Not sure if you can see on camera. I have a little bit of overlay there. So I'm just gonna bring in my paper snips. I could put it on the paper trimmer and just do a straight cut, but I think I can manage with just the scissors. There we go. All right, so next I am going to do my stamping on my stitched rectangle. And again, I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. It is one of my essential tools and I am using it often. And I'm actually gonna slip it underneath because some of my ink might fall off of the pad. So I'm going to stamp with Blushing Bride. And I'm going to get that cute little spotty stamp that comes in your kit. And I'm just gonna randomly stamp with Blushing Bride. I'm stamping off. It's an all over spotty pattern. And it just, there's no placement worries. It's random stamping. So you would do wanna go up to the edges. A lot of it's gonna be covered. And this is a really subtle card. So, but I do have some brighter cards, more traditional colors to share with you too. All right, there's my spotty pattern. I need to stamp my sentiment on my one and a quarter inch white circle. For that, I'm going to use my Flirty Flamingo. And if you have been a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, a lot of these colors that I'm using, you will have, if you uh, hold on to your stampin' spots, they're really handy to have a, a nice variety of colors. You have a, can have a whole collection of your colors. And I'm going to stamp the little solid heart that comes in the stamp set. And just going to stamp two little hearts. And this is the Love You More greeting. And that makes me think of my mother-in-law. Oh my gosh. That was one of her favorite sayings, Love You More. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my Memento Black Pad. And that's only because I'm stamping over my Flirty Flamingo. And it's gonna be right in center. And I need my more stamp. Love you more. Hopefully this is kind of straight, more or less. There you go. And this gets mounted onto my Flirty Flamingo and I can just use my Tombow liquid, liquid glue. So I know that I've been watching the news. I know they're having this terrible storm in the East Coast. I thought it was Northern East Coast. I haven't really been following the Southern Eastern area. I know Wyoming's always cold during winter, right? That's just a cooler weather area. All right, so that's ready to go. And this is going to be mounted here, but first I'm gonna add my ribbon and my ribbon comes from the uh, ribbon pack that has the, actually I think it's Petal Pink and M Misty Moonlight, but this one goes really, um, really well with this card. It kind of picks up the Flirty Flamingo Blushing Bride colors. It's just gonna be wrapped around this layer and I'm gonna tie a pretty bow on it. So here we go and Let's see, I can snip it. Got my ribbon scissors handy. Yeah, got one of my charms caught in the middle of that. There we go. And I'm just going to tie my bow at the far left. And when I created my card originally, I didn't use the glue dot, and I'm glad I didn't because I was able to slide 
my ribbon around. Hello, Sonia. Thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate it. I hope you're gonna like the, my bonus projects. They're not really alternatives because I still create my cards as the Paper Pumpkin team has designed, but I love that I have either leftover materials or I've got the great stamp set and the ink colors that I can keep on creating after. So I'm calling them my bon bonus projects. They're not really alternatives. You could make alternative projects with those shaped hearts though, because I know with three hearts, you could snip it down to a two, two a heart card and still have pretty cards. So you, have, you do have choices. It's a great deal with all you get inside the kit. And don't forget, if you do a subscription, you earn your celebration items. And if you go for the full year, you even earn host rewards. So it's a great time to, to go ahead and do the whole year. You can still turn your subscription on and off as you as you want. Um, if you think you, you're not gonna be able to get to a kit, if you don't like the sound of what the kit is gonna be, you still have the option of opting out. And let's see, I'm going to add dimensionals on the back of my layered circle. This is going to get layered right over where the ribbon is and I'm gonna push to the left like so. All right, then I'm gonna take those sweet little flirty flamingo hearts that I punched from that dog punch and I'm gonna add them to this layer and I'm adding them just with the tiniest little dot of Tombow liquid glue. And it's random. So no worries that you you have to get it exactly where I've placed my hearts. Totally random. And I use my take your pick tool and just lift it and put it right up to the dot. So I'm not fussing with my fingers. And remember the liquid glue, it is very forgiving. So if, if your heart lands a little awkward, you still have time to kind of tweak it and put it in the direction you want. There we go. So it is February 1st. Just unbelievable, I think. Where, does, where do the days go? Where does a month go? First of the month already. There. And one more. Alrighty, so there's my little hearts. Oh, I have some extra here. Let's, I'm not gonna waste it. I wanna put it down. Let's see, I'll put it right there. Sweethearts. All right, then this layer is just gonna get attached. It's gonna go over our card base and I am using dimensionals for a little elevation. I just feel like the the dimension adds a lot to the card. And one more. And just wanna make sure it's right side up. Have you, oh no, I, I glued it on upside down. Um, I've done it once or twice and still, it happens, right? Okay, so it goes right there. We are going to add, we still have embellishments. It's not over till we've added the pop of pizzazz. And I'm adding three of these pretty sequins. And there you go. Another simple card, right? I like the coloring on it. What do you think? Very simple. This is something I would send to a girlfriend. To it could be one of my Galentines. So, thank you, Marcia. All right, there we go. Easy, and it's on a white base. So that means I can write my little message inside. Um, we could stamp. There is the sweetest little stamp in the set that says "Sending You Love," which I think would just be an awesome greeting to whoever you're sending it to. 
and we could continue on. Let's put a little heart inside. Ah, love it. There we go. Love you more. Sending love. Okay, so there's that one. That's my first bonus. Let's keep going. And this one has a little bit more color. So I want one that's very subtle, one that has more color. My card base is going to be the Flirty Flamingo. And so here we go, another elegant card. We've got that gold in outline on the die cut. So I added some gold ribbon as well. This one is really easy. We have one of the, the leftover hearts and we are using uh, one of the prettiest papers from the Celebration catalog. This little freebie, it's a $50, or it's free with a $50 order and just beautiful colors. And it's got like different effects to it. One looks really marble, marbly because it's called Simply Marvelous. And the flip side looks a little bit more watermarked, a little watercolor-ish like. So we've got Flirty Flamingo in this pack. Beautiful paper stack, free during celebration. And if you get your subscription now, you're gonna get freebies in the kit along with, with your other bonuses. So there's that. And let's, let me share with you my dimensions and what I used. So let me make a little bit of space here before I have a disaster zone. <laughs> does your craft room look like a disaster? Mine does often. And my craft room is actually as you enter the, the front door of the house. So I try to keep it tidy, but it's hard. And you know what? It's crafty. Crafting is who I am, so. This card base is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, the standard card size. I've got some layers here. I've started with the basic white that's at four by five and a quarter. And this gets layered right atop the flirty flamingo. So let's take care of that. And I'm using the seal plus, or sorry, the seal. No need to use my seal plus on everything now that I get along with seal. Okay, so this goes right at the top and I'm gonna have about an eighth of an inch border all the way around. There we go. And then I've got another flirty flamingo. This one measures three and a half by four and three quarters. So flirty flamingo layer. And then I'm gonna add some of that simply marvelous paper but here's what i'm going to do i felt like this was a little bit overwhelming so what i did was trim this at a couple inches so i've got my little hatchet trimmer one of my favorites i'm going to flip that over you can see the pretty color oh, it reminds me of ice cream like a strawberry shortcake ice cream or something it always turns to food okay so I've, now i've got two pieces but look it looks so pretty aligned together so i'm just going to abut that together here and that's going to go right onto the flirty flamingo layer just like so and it's going to go right here now this one has barely a little outline border about a sixteenth of an inch and then i've got the flip side so I like both sides. What do you think? There's the, the marble, and then there's that, I guess it's different kinds of marble. This would be marble as well, but uh, very pretty. And together, it kind of tones down one of the sides. This one goes right atop. I just abut it right on there. And let's see, I'm gonna add my gold shimmer ribbon and i'm gonna need just i don't know maybe five inches you'll see what i'm doing and i'm going to add a little seal on the back and i'm just gonna check let's see if i put it here i'm trying to figure out where i need my adhesive eh, that didn't work let me take it up here and so I need it 
right there. You can just see I'm using my grid paper to help me out here because when it's flipped over, it's hard to see where I should place the seal, right? And let's see, I'm gonna take my five inch and I'm gonna put this, yes, I know, Marsha, both sides are so pretty. I don't know which is my favorite, I like them both. And this color is just gorgeous, as are the other colors in the pack. The, the uh, purple, the gorgeous grape is absolutely gorgeous for those purple lovers in your life. All right, so there we've got that layer and I'm actually, I'm going to mount that layer because it is sticky on the back. And I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna use the ends of my dimensional sheet here. I like to use every last piece of dimensional. So this is elevated. There we go. You like the softer side, Susan? You know, that's kind of why I flipped them because I think it would be really overpowering with this side. But yeah, it's got that pretty swirl. Really nice. Anyway, that's what I think too, but I do agree. I like the softer side. And it's gonna go right centered. All right, let's do our stamping. I'm gonna put that aside. I have one of the extra die cuts going to bring in my piercing mat because we are going to stamp and I am stamping in flirty flamingo which is what I've got here yes and I'm using my X's and O's stamp so let me take that off and let's see the first one's going to go pretty much centered but here's the thing I am stamping off. I didn't want this to overpower everything, so I stamped off. It's a pretty soft, pretty color now. And I'm gonna alternate it here so the O goes right below the X. And here as well. This is why I'm covering up my piercing mat because I'm stamping off on the paper there. And again at the top, alternating the X and O all the way around. All right, so there is our heart. We're going to add a sentiment. And I stamped the friend in Hello, Barbara from Texas. I have another Texas friend, Texan on here. I hope you're in, a, in an area that's not gonna get that ice storm. All right, the friend goes right in the center. Just like so. This gets adhered uh, as the top layer and we are using dimensional. So I'm gonna flip that over. I'm going to take my piercing mat out and I'm going to add my dimensionals and I'm looking for my, uh, there we go, my paper snips. Just like so and I'm going to add dimensionals on the back of that pretty heart, just like so. And where is my card? There's my card. I'm gonna add that O right at the top there. I think this is really elegant card. That's the look for me. Then I'm going to put a pretty little bow here and I'm gonna bring in my, my bow easy. I love this thing. It makes perfect little bows every time. And I don't trim the ribbon before probably rain <laughs> where in texas so marcia if you're still on here marcia is from texas and she was telling me an ice storm is coming i'm not sure because right texas is a big state right <laughs> not as big as alaska but still a big state and all right so there 
and I'm gonna pull that off. Look how pretty that little bow is, so sweet. I'm gonna trim a little bit of that tail off and I'm going to adhere that with a glue dot. Right through here, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to grab my glue dot. And it's gonna go right around there. So Marcia says she's in Ellis County. It's a winter storm, ice storm, which sounds very cold to me and probably wanna be tucked inside nice and cozy. All right, so look how different they look just because of that paper. What do you think? We're not finished yet. I'm gonna do the inside because I've got a colored base. I'm gonna add a piece of basic white. And again, I'm gonna stamp with that Sending Love stamp. And I'm gonna ink up in Memento Northern Te or North Texas, okay. What time is that, when is that storm coming in, Marsha? Is it overnight? And there's my sending love, and one more time, gonna stamp that cute little heart right in the center. And I'm just throwing caution to the wind. <laughs> I do not have my piercing mat underneath this. Not bad. And I'm going to adhere this. I can use some dot, dot, not a lot on the back. Thank you, Susan. I have one more to share with you. I'm not gonna create it. I do wanna share it with you though. A totally different color scheme. Oh, starts tomorrow night till Thursday. That's a couple days, right? All right, so there we go. There's my second and we could even add our embellishments because you know it's not over till we've got our pop of pizzazz. I'm just gonna add some right there in honor of my dear, kind, and wonderful friend, Marilyn, who says you can always cover anything with the rhinestone, little smudges and all. There we go. I think it's pretty. All right, so there's card number two, alternative project or bonus project number two. And I said I was gonna share a third with you, although I'm not gonna create it for you. I'm gonna share with you what I've done and I hope that these bonus projects will inspire you if you have your hugs and kisses kit to keep on crafting long after your kit materials are gone. And I have one more card in more traditional colors. What do you think? So I know a lot of people like the red. I'm loving the red and purple. This is Highland Heather. And all I did, I created my own designer series paper in the background. I stamped that little heart stamp in red and Highland Heather. I even used my little spotty dots in two different colors, actually Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. And I did one large piece and then I snipped it down into the panels and uh, I spread it a little bit. And again, we had an extra die cut of the heart there. Oh. Pam's sister lives in Austin. They're expecting ice and freezing rain as well. All right, my friends, that means you need to get inside, stay nice and cozy, comfy, and safe. I hope you enjoyed creating with me tonight. That paper pumpkin kit is too fun. I love the kit that it's all boxed up. I know my friend, my dear friend Barb is going to enjoy, Barbara is going to enjoy the kit in a box now that you're temp in transition housing <laughs> you can still craft and create these cards are so fun um and i hope that you will keep on creating i hope i've inspired you <laughs> i know marsh i wouldn't go anywhere either i would stay in ah it's gonna be 60 in miami yikes hey but i saw that those iguanas are falling from the trees that's the big news story here in Southern California. Um, <laughs> kind of creepy to me. <laughs> Thank you, Marcia. All right. Thanks, Pam. Oh, yay, your kid arrived today. Mine just arrived yesterday, so I had to crack it open and start working on it. But plenty of time to get our cards out for Valentine's Day. 
I hope you have fun with your kit. It's a really pretty kit. And next month's kit should be a fun kit as well, kind of safari themed. If you like that idea, you want to make sure that you have opted in for the kit by February 10. Yes. And if you want to think about either doing a prepaid subscription, because remember, we're going to see those price increases, and you can also get your celebration items and host rewards if you get the month-lock month -lock subscription. But be sure to reach out for me, out to me so I can help you get the most value from your order. <laughs> Susan says she hasn't seen any, but she doesn't go outside. Okay, so I've seen them on the news only. It's, that's not anything I want to experience. So Barbara says she changed her address. Uh-oh, uh it's going to be delivered to Riverside. Yikes, get in there and change your address. Uh, hope you can recover that kit. <laughs> there it is. They, yeah, they don't look like my cup of tea, Susan, but, you know... All creatures great and small. All right, my friends, enjoy the rest of the night. Stay warm, comfy, and safe inside. I will see you, let's see, Friday, happy hour. Yay, birthday card class coming up. And uh, have a nice rest of the week. I will see you Friday at 4 o'clock for happy hour. Good night. Thanks for joining me.